Hello everybody and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48th World where you get the review or recap of The Bold and the Beautiful. And we're going to be doing the recap on The Bold and the Beautiful uh, today for April 6, 2016 at 1.30. Again, that's for Monday, I mean I'm sorry, that's for Wednesday, April 6, 2016. Girl, it was hot. Sir, it was hot today. Bold and the Beautiful gave me everything I wanted and needed. About time they pimp it up. Because I tell you, they were just dragging their heels and just dragging their heels. going to take my polyam out to Oregon. And he didn't know what he was going to be doing out there. He sure did. But let's just go on and get into it. Why not? The Bold and the Beautiful for Wednesday, April 6, 2016. Here we go. The scene takes us back to Wyatt and Steffi. They were in bed, chilling, relaxing, getting a sleep on. And somehow, Wyatt is just so in love with his wife. And he's trying to be the dutiful a husband that he know he could always be, and he is just trying to serve Steffi up with pure honesty, loyalty, dedication, and adoration for his newfound bride. This young man leaves her in the bed and let her still get her beauty sleep, and he is working hard in the kitchen fixing her breakfast. Now, can you tell me this boy is on point? He has... Got the wedding thing set off. It took off, went off, it went well. Now he is pampering his wife after their wedding. He surprises her with the, uh, breakfast in bed. And she ain't even washed her face, brushed her teeth. But okay, we can go with it. Stinking breath and all. He still love her. He gives her a kiss. And then uh, she's just so overwhelmed with the love that he is showing her. Now, you know, we can say it's just for... You know, they're still honeymooning. Honey, don't think you're going to get breakfast in bed <laughs> all the time. But anyway, they just both cannot believe that they did the darn thing. So both of them are reminiscing on that particular day. Wyatt is just remembering his bride, now his wife, coming down to the beach just looking all pretty. He's going in his little imaginary little thing. And he just seeing her and, you know, she's just vision along with him. They're letting us look through their minds and their memories of their pretty day. And he's just looking at Stephanie coming down through the pathway. And then she gets out there where she can see him. And, you know, it's just all pretty. She's in her white and baby blue gown. And she's looking at him. Everybody looking at her. And he just can't believe he successfully got this woman to marry him he's just overwhelmed with joy then she goes into her little memory bank bank and um she's giving us her little reflection on what actually transpired that day on her wedding day only thing she can remember is making eye contact getting up there with him and them soliciting their sales with their vows and it is a pretty sight she remembers uh, spitting out vows to him. He remembers spitting out vows to her. And they both remember grabbing each other's face and kissing each other. And they just can't believe that they did the darn thing. That is crazy. It is just crazy. But that's just the way it is. That's how love is in Malibu, California. When it um, is pertaining to the Spencers. <laughs> But they just loving on each other and they're having their their memories and he's feeding her and she's just so overwhelmed with joy. And truth be told, they may be expecting a baby. I don't know, but that's where I'm going with it because they were just so in love and they just kept having sex, 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 sex. So, hey, who's to know? Then we go on into a scene where we're looking at Quinn and Liam. Honey. Quinn is still packing boxes. She's trying to tell Liam he need to be packing boxes. She tired of coming from the inside and outside. And the only thing he's doing is looking at a uh, picture still. And she just don't know how to get him on track. 
And she's telling him, look, we need you to be packing, son, because we're trying to get to Rogue River Valley, somewhere up there in Oregon. And he's still looking at her like she's crazy. But he found something while he was packing, and it was a sport that his daddy had gave him. He knows he's looking, she knows he's looking at it, but she just don't know whether or not things have connected to him being a Spencer, him being Liam, and is her plan finna unfold into something negative. So he's asking her, hey, I found this. Is this mine? And she was like, yeah, I bought that for you, but you didn't too much like it. And I just tried, we just tried to throw it away. She trying to cover her trash, y'all, but Liam is waking up. Surely but, uh, surely. Slowly but surely. He is waking up. Do you hear me, guys? Do you hear me? Okay, the scene reflects to Bill Spencer. Bill Spencer said, okay, to hell with this. I need to get a hold of my friend, and he need to find my son, because it don't make no damn sense. I don't know where Liam is, what he think he got going on, but guess what? He need to be back in this office. Forget about he texts, he did this, he did that. Uh-uh. I need to find Justin. Justin need to get up on this, because my son done lost his goddamn mind, and he's going to have to answer to me. Oh, yes, he is. He's going to have to answer to me. And so, he gets a hold of Justin. He said, look at here, Justin. You go find my son. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. I'm smelling it. I'm sipping it. And I'm getting choked. Something telling me something's not right with my boy. You need to go find him. And I mean, you need to find him right now. Do whatever you have to do. Spare no expense because you need to find my boy and bring his ass back here so I can get him sold up from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Because I'm sick of this shit. You hear me, Justin? You go find my boy. Okay. The scene goes back. Back to Steffi and White. He's still talking with her. He's still kissing her. And just spilling out all this love and adoration for his newfound bride. But he's saying, look, honey. I'm going to have to pay my mama a little visit because some things are kind of worrying me about her. I know she was good at our wedding, but I know she's supposed to be leaving. But guess what? Something just ain't sitting right, and I just want to go and see if I can get a little peek or two at her little uh, newfound friend. Stephanie said, okay, you want to leave me? Okay, I understand, boo, but do what you got to do. But come on back now, you hear? Come on back. The scene takes place back in Bill Spencer's office. He is going over the comings and goings of, well, did Liam do this? Did Liam do that? Maybe he just need time. And then, Pope Bill, he looking at uh, Justin like, you don't lost your goddamn mind. Don't tell me what you think my son done did or what he should be doing. I know what my son need to be. He need to be him. I need you to get your detective work skills on and do what you need to do. Because something ain't right. He's been gone too long. I don't know where he's going. He didn't make his brother's wedding. He didn't make his cousin's um, uh, birth that she had uh, bore Douglas in the world. He don't miss too many special events. And that's just not like him. That ain't like him. He crazy. He cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs sometimes. But look, he's sensitive and this, that, and the other. And those are very too delicate situations that he wouldn't have missed. So I, you know, I got all caught up, but I'm getting my head straight on now. And we need, we need to go find that boy because something ain't right. Something ain't right, Justin. You need to get on it and don't come to me no more. Go find my son. Okay, we're going back to Queen and uh, Liam. And, um, you know, she walking in. She's still seeing him playing with that box. She like, did I tell you to put that stuff up? What is wrong with you? And he's like, why you being so hostile? Why don't you talk to me like I'm a grown person? I may have lost my marbles here and there, but guess what? I need for you to help me help myself to find out where I'm going with this. I need my memory back. And God dang it, if you know something about this necklace, it's connected. We need to talk it out. We need to talk it out before we get in that car and go to Oregon. Do you hear me, honey? Okay, the scene takes place back. Justin done did his due diligence. Uh... Justin said he don't check everything, everything. The boy ain't spent no money no well. The boy ain't dried out no money. The boy ain't wrote no checks. Man, it is something wrong. Your um, son, Liam, may not have just disappeared, honey. Somebody may have taken that joker against his will. Yeah, we're going to have to get the cops involved, man. Not just me. I got you on that front, but we need to alert, alert the authorities. Do you hear me? Alert the authorities. Spare no expense. Spare no expense because he missing. 
goes back to Wyatt and Steffi. Steffi has gotten herself all groomed now, probably brushed her teeth, washed her face and all that. She's sitting on the couch with her husband saying, okay, husband, you go on and see your mama, but you need to come on back now. Just do what you got to do. But, you know, this is our wedding day. This is our first wedding day uh, as being husband and wife. So you need to come on back. Go on and do what you got to do, but you need to come on back. Okay? Okay? He said, okay, love. Okay, love. I'll be back. But I got to go right now. I got to go because something ain't checking out right with my mama. Something ain't checking out right. Okay, the scene goes on to Lynn and Quinn again. They fussing. Quinn asking him, look, is your memory coming back? Is your memory coming back? Cause I need to know. I need to know. Is your memory coming back? Why are you? Asking so many questions. What are you remembering? Go on and tell me so we can hash this out right now. And, you know, he's still like, mm -mm, why are you being so defensive? Why are you being so defensive? Don't you want to help me help myself? Find out who I am? Why is this bothering you, Quinn? Why is this bothering you? Okay, that's what he's saying. But he's saying Eve in the back of his head. But then the scene goes back. They get to their feet. Him and Steffi. Why and Steffi? You know, she's getting ready to give him a hug and all this little stuff and saying, okay, okay, we cool, we cool. You go on to see what you got to do with your mama. You know, but remember, I'm your wife now. You need to be having your duties here with me. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to keep telling you, but she just lying. She pretty much just enjoying the whole marriage scene, but she don't want to be by herself, but she don't want to be overcrowded either. So she give him, you know, give him a hug, send him out the door, and say, come on, tell your mama, say hey, but come on back now. The scene goes back to Bill. Bill is in his office. He's thinking, he's imagining, and he's actually focusing on, focusing on a picture of him and Liam. He's looking at Liam like, Lord, I've been too busy and too concerned about my own life. I've been so engulfed on my own life and, you know, worried about my uh, crazy wife, trying to get off, you know, trying to be an alcoholic and all this, thinking about my son, my youngest son, and I don't forgot totally about my son, Liam. Lord, help us find him. Don't let him be hurt. I will never forgive myself. Okay, the scene goes back to Quinn and Liam. Quinn is still after this joker. Still after him. Do you hear me? So Quinn just going to do her seductive stuff and just try to wean him from that little necklace and him badgering her about what is what. And she just said, okay, let's go on to the bedroom. I might have to sex him up to get out of this little situation that I'm in. And she do. She take him in the back. He's resisting trying to kiss her, but she's still trying to make it happen. She's still trying to make it happen, y'all. But, you know, you know, sometimes the man just have to give in and go with it. But he fighting it. He fighting it. So the scene shows us. Why don't show up? Why is on her porch? He looking at this sign, talking about for rent. He like, what, what the hell going on with my mom? What is she doing? So he goes peeping through the door and everything, or peeping through the window, trying to see what he can see. And you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But he like, mm, should I go in? Should I go? Should I not? He looking at the doorknob like, yeah, I need to go in. But I'm scared they might be doing something. Or maybe they're not even here. He's just playing with all of this uh, foolishness in his head. But he does eventually goes in. But the scene goes back to Bill. He's in his office remembering uh, when he gave his son, Liam, and Wyatt their... Um, sword necklace to uh, show loyalty and solidarity to their uh, relationship as being son and father and all that good stuff and he's remembering some times when uh he was fussing with um what a name uh he was talking about, i think about hope he was thinking about liam mary and hope and all this kind of stuff then you know, he just really remembers some things. He can't can't get it out of his mind, you know. So then Steffi, she's sitting there by herself in her little solitude. And her mind goes on and ponders about Liam. She finds a picture of Liam and she just reminiscing, y'all. She just reminiscing. Just going back down memory lane. And, you know, she ain't no good. She ain't no good because, like, I'm like, she should have basically went and tried to put an APB out on his brother. But she didn't do it. She went on and married his brother. Can you see where I'm going with this? Y'all can't, y'all see. So she don't need to be having no memories of him. Okay? The scene creeps back. It creeps on back to Wyatt. Wyatt goes in the house, honey. He's saying, Mama, are you home? Mama, Mama, where you at? Girl, where you at? He going around that cone, get to that doorknob to her bedroom. He open up that doorknob, and Lord have mercy, I thought he would fall to the floor. He said, what the, hell, what the hell is going on here? What is going on? Mama, what the hell you doing? 
son, what, this is your man? I mean, all this is just going on in his mind. He's just not understanding the uh, dynamics. He don't walk into, honey, he don't walk into a paradox. He don't walk in Pandora's box and he ain't like it. It's almost like he saw his mama having sex with somebody. It's like, ew, a bad moment. Man, Liam jump up. He's like, what the hell? What are you talking about? Why are you calling me Liam? My name ain't Liam. Who is he talking about? Uh, Eve. Eve, what's going on? Why is he calling me? I, I don't understand. Oh, Lord, then. Queen just go on and act crazy like, oh, what the hell is going on? You don't, you don't, you don't follow my secret. Now I'm about to kill you. I'm about to kill you. I'm about to kill Liam. Ooh, I'm about to kill everybody before I leave this town. But at least everybody know that I'm leaving town. But it's gonna be a lot of bodies. I'm gonna have to leave. What the hell is going on? What is going on? And then again, why? He like, what the hell going on? What the hell going on, Liam? What the hell wrong with you? And Liam looking at him like. What? And he like, uh-uh, something ain't right. Liam is not answering to his name. Why does he think his name is Aaron? What the hell is going on, mama? What, what Liam, what is going on? Don't you know who I am? And Liam just looking at him like, who the hell is this guy? Who the hell is this guy? And why is he calling me Liam? The shit making sense now. This woman don't help me him. She don't hold, help me hostage. My name ain't Adam. Who the hell am I? Am? Who you say I am, man? Why I go look at him, mama? He go and look at Liam. He said, Lord, what has happened him? Mama, what have you done? What have you done, Mama? You mean you don't have this boy here? You don't have him here, Lord. You don't have him here. Don't you know all the uh infractions? All the laws you don't broke? Oh, hell. He had to just leave the room because he couldn't take it no more. We find him. Now, I'm just putting this part in him because it actually went off when Liam. I mean, Wyatt had found Liam and, you know, uh, his mama. And I'm just putting this little scene in here for y'all because this is probably what's going to happen tomorrow if we're uh, so grateful for it to be done that way. He's going to be in there hollering. He's going to be done left that bedroom back into the uh, main area where you see them walk in the door when they coming in and out the little cabin. And he probably cussing his mama out. Yes, he is. He's like, what the hell have you done? And do you know how much damage you are in they're gonna put you in jail they're gonna put you in a nut house liam gonna be like forgot who he is and his mama trying to reassure him she's trying to say we can get away with it baby we just kill him and just gonna buy ah he be like oh hell no you ain't put me in this shit i don't got married i don't lie saying you done did what you had to do you done changed you ain't changed mama you ain't changed you ain't changed you going to jail and i'm gonna help them put you there i can't believe you don't have this boy up here hostage and that's where we go, y'all. That's what I feel about it anyway. But that was the recap, review of The Bold and the Beautiful that was given to us on Wednesday, the 6th of April, 2016 at 1.30. I want to thank you all for joining me. Yes, joining me for the recap and review of The Bold and the Beautiful. Catch me tomorrow, April 7th. Hopefully I try to get it to y'all before, but I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna keep laughing at myself. Cause I try to put a lot of work in my stuff, giving y'all me uh narrating and y'all getting pictures to view my images. You understand what I'm saying, babies? Y'all have a good day, have a blessed day, and see you later. Bye.